um, I think Barrett's a natural podcaster, um, maybe even more so than some of the rest of us who are podcasters. Um, so, you know, I would love to get him on uh, a podcast again, but it's just really, really tricky. Um, and the times and, and, and everything else don't work as well as they should. Um, but, you know, me and Barrett, uh, still friends and still, you know, we're, we're still fine. But um, I don't know if I'd, he'd ever be on weekly again, just because I don't know if he has the time. But if we ever worked for the same organization, we would kind of build that, build that in. And that was, that was the original plan when he came on the podcast was, you know, it was going to be part of 99.94 and where he was going to get his own podcast. I would have my own podcast. We would do episodes together. You know, we had this huge plan. I know Barrett really wants to do more podcasts, but it just didn't happen. Um, and, you know, it's a shame, but, you know, there's heaps of people in cricket that I want to work with more. Like, you mean Andy Zaltzman don't work together anymore. Me and Sam Collins, me and George Dobell, like, you know, there's just heaps of people that, that I really, really like. You know, I'd, um, I'd love to be able to get, you know, Isam and Fernando and Monga, although Monga probably wouldn't want to do it but you know some of the people that i you know came up with and um you know really respect from that point of view um would love to get them on weekly podcasts and um even estelle i pay her and i can't get her on a, on or she should be on this podcast actually where's estelle um so you know it's tricky and you know also with my life like i just had to take an ad break to go downstairs to open the door to let my kids in like i'm fitting the podcast in where i can right and you know last night after so i got up at 2 a.m yeah 2 a.m yesterday and me and Bayram must have finished my last podcast at 10.30 p.m. So the, whoever is the co-host has to kind of, you know, uh, fold in. And because Bayram's not a writer, his actual um, uh, schedule is much more flexible. Plus, he is a host, whereas with Barat, he's a co-host. So I have to come up with a lot of the work for, for Barat, whereas with Bayram it's not quite the same thing, right? Like Bayram is bringing it, you know, going off and doing, in, in, in fact, genius and all that. And he's... I'm probably also not, I'm, I can host and obviously have done it professionally for many years, but I think my main thing is probably preferring to be a co-host unless I'm interviewing someone like Red Inca. Um, I like being the person, you know, on the other side um, and, and doing that sort of stuff, which that's kind of what I do with you guys on, on Wagon Wheel, right? I'm like, you guys ask all the questions and then I'll answer them. I can do that. Um, you know, it, it, that suits me a lot more. So again, Bay Rome fits from that point of view, but you know, I, Barrett Saltzman, um, Dobell, Vish. I mean, I've never done anything with Vish, really. Roller is another one. Um, I've, you know, got to get Estelle on a few more things. Sarawaras is someone I'd like to work with more. Like, there's heaps of them. And Barrett was kind of the first one. And he allowed for, I mean, Barrett coming on and not being paid. Oh, actually, he was paid when he started. But we're not being paid for a long time afterwards because I didn't have any money on my network um, after 99.94, I went down. Um, you know, Barra really made it a an important you know part from uh, you know if he's allowed me to expand this podcast network, he's a friend and I love chatting to him as well, right? And me and him have very similar. We're both very globally focused cricket writers, and you know Bayram's not right, and 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 um and Zoltzman's not. You know a lot of people are not in that in that kind of level, right? So me and Bayram are a natural pairing, but life gets in the way, and you know one day um if if you've got the two dollar super chat so you're on your way but you know if if for those who didn't see i put it up on linkedin and i think we put it might have put it out on the Substack, uh, which is now um, not a Substack, but goodareas.co if you haven't seen my new website goodareas.co um you know we we did an article about um kind of the future uh, like i think there should be a new model for cricket writing slash cricket media um, and i think someone will work it out very soon um I'm very passionate about this, uh, but you are talking about, you know, probably 2 million to 3 million US dollars a year to get this idea working and up and professional the way that you need it to be. Um, then me and Barrett would come back together, right? You know, because we'd probably be, well, I mean, I don't know if he would accept, obviously he's working with Crack Buzz, but, you know, then there's something, you know, we're talking about me barely being able to, pay, you know, um, pay for my staff at different times and, you know, very hand to mouth in this organization as we are at the moment. Uh, you know, and perhaps if I could pay Barrett regularly, he would come back, right? Um, but this is the reality of where we are, right? Uh, and, you know, your super chats and the Patreon and all these sorts of things really, really help. But essentially what we need to be able to do is get some solid investment. And it's the one thing that we haven't really been able to do. I would love to run an entire cricket media network, you know, with anywhere between 15 and 35, you know, 
creative people, you know, back end staff, podcasts, videos, writing, you know, the whole thing, maybe even commentary, the whole kit and caboodle. But these things cost money. And, you know, I've spent a good two years of my life trying to get that investment and haven't been able to do it. My business, the, the, the good areas.co business is certainly growing. So, um, it's doing really, really well. So, I, you know, massively keen on um, to continue to push that. But it's, you know, it, it might end up being a really, really big thing, but it's not going to be a thing where, you know, uh, where we probably get millions of dollars of investment or anything else. So this is where we are and this is what's happening at the moment. And uh, that's life, you know, and uh, there's heaps of great people. There's people in cricket that, I, that I'm really close with that I probably never even recorded podcasts with, right? <laughs> Like, um, that I would love to. Yeah, Gideon, I used to have Gideon. Me and Gideon had a Crick Info podcast together. That would be great as well.